Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's the afternoon where I am of April 17th, Friday, 2020. I'm Roy Potter. Welcome as you come in. I have to do this little impromptu because I'm really getting tired of what Trump and the White House are doing. If you haven't got Twitter, you haven't seen this. If you do have Twitter, hopefully you did see it. Let me read the tweets from Trump. Just listen to this. Liberate Virginia and save your Second Amendment. One tweet. Second tweet. Liberate Michigan. Third tweet. Liberate Minnesota. And the thing that started it all, today people started losing their jobs not because of my task force, not because of the bullshit being put out by the White House from Fauci and Bricks and Gates, who has a hand in it, not from Ivanka and Kushner. No. Listen. Start over again. Today, people started losing their jobs because of crazy Nancy Pelosi. I wouldn't disagree, but here he is trying to push off his his problem, again, like with the red flag laws, he puts this out there so that he gives a green light to these governors and these mayors, etc. And then by proxy, they do the tyrannical action. In other words, he is causing the tyranny by proxy. He's doing it by having the mayors and the governors do it for him. And you're not going to convince me otherwise. Starting over on this tweet that started it all. Today, people started losing their jobs because of crazy Nancy Pelosi, crying Chuck, Chuck Schumer, and the radical left, do-nothing Democrats, who should immediately come back to Washington to improve legislation to help families in America and your endless vacation. And what legislation is that? Raiding the debt again. Not stopping the tyrannical shutdown of the country, not stopping the tyrannical checkpoints on the road and, the, and, the, and at the airports and raiding people's homes because they might have guests over or closing the mom and pop stores. Am I angry? Well, I'm angry a lot these days because I see the hypocrisy and the, and the blatant psychological operations coming out of this asshole that we call the President of the United States, not taking any responsibility for the fact that these are his guidelines being put out. And you're not going to blame it, folks, on Fauci alone or Bricks or Gates or anybody. It's Trump putting these people up on his bully pulpit. As it stands right now, there should be DOJ actions against governors and, and uh, mayors, etc., police officers, even soldiers, for violating the Bill of Rights of good Americans. They let the criminals out of jail so they could put us in, just like I said. Is he doing anything about it? He may not be able to tell the governors now. I mean, he let them off the leash and told them, like the, with the red flag laws, it's okay, you go with it, I won't bother you. You'll be my tyrants to stand in for me so I can keep looking like the good guy, the Mo and Jeff routine. If you haven't lost respect for this, this lying, deceiving hypocrite by now, then we're all going down in flames and very quickly. As it sits right now, he could put his DOJ and threaten these governors and mayors, but he won't because he's afraid of a death being blamed on him and he's gonna kill millions because of his stupidity his, or his hypocrisy and the actual plan that he is putting into play, uh, play here. And all of you Trump worshipers and cultists, just leave because you're gonna be the problem here. You have not held his feet to the fire and he has taken us down because of you. Yes because you refuse to call him out. That's all I got. Fall for this psyop from this, this deceiving actor. Do it. He's stealing your children's prosperity, their future, and actually, he's stealing it from you right now. He's the, he, this is a Mutt and Jeff routine. That's exactly what this is. He's going to be, he's, you know, 
he calls Nancy Pelosi crazy and Chuck Schumer crying Chuck Schumer. I'm not saying that's wrong, but what is he doing? That's how he resorts to this. This is what it's come down to. No action, just words and hypocrisy. While they clamp down on your most cherished freedoms, the things that probably a million people have died for in this country to try to secure for you and your posterity. And he's throwing it away. Don't, don't let him blame it on Fauci, on Bricks, on Gates, on Pelosi, on Schumer, or on the governors. He's the one that sent us down this road. He could have stopped it, and he didn't because he's part of the problem. Again, I can't read the chat because it's too bright out here, and I can't see the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been betrayed so horribly, it isn't even funny. I'm not a, anybody that's his apologist at this point, you got to suspect of something. You got to be suspicious of them. Yeah, the Albert Pike letter, exactly. I can see that. <laughs> I was just talking to a lady about the secret societies while well, I was texting. The secret societies from the 1800s that planned all this out almost 200 years ago. Well, it was. It was 200 years ago. Not quite. It's about when it started. It was around 1820, where I, some of the details I have on it. Okay, I'm out for now. I might be back later. I don't know. I just can't. I, I just cannot believe that we're letting this this lying, deceiving, so-called president, whether he is, whether he's been removed or not, he's still the figurehead that they're using to come after us. They're not after him anymore. They're out to take your head off, to steal from you, take your lives, take your fortunes, and leave you in poverty, sickness, and death. I'm out.